I say about last week on like Wednesday, I was just like through and done with it. I was like, you know what? I don't want to play drums no more. I don't want to do this because I wasn't saying nothing from it. And I was just like, I just want to give up. So first thing I did was I got on my knees and I started praying. praying. So I get up, wipe my tears off, get myself together. And usually when I'm upset, I go and drunk. That's how I, you know, cope with things. So I'm like, All right, I'm gonna go to my playlist. Go over to my playlist and the first thing that pops up is this speech from Steve Harvey from, I heard like a long time ago. So I'm like, why is this in my playlist? I never put this in my playlist. Like I'm sitting here crying and complaining and everything. I'm like, God just used him as a vessel to talk to me for me to get up and get back up on my feet. So I'm just like, I'm listening after that, I'm listening to everything, just everything that he be talking about. But I already listen to all this because I'm a, that's who I'm inspired, like that's my inspiration for real. So I was just listening to everything. So I'm just praying, I'm just like, well, God, if it's possible, if it's possible, can he at least see my video? Can I at least get to talk to him or can I meet him in person? Just prayed, just prayed about it. And I just went back to doing what I was doing. Two days later, his Instagram reposted my video. So I'm sitting there like, like I'm shocked because I'm like, hold up, how did this just happen? You feel me? Like I'm just like, how did this happen? But right there, that's, that's called faith. So what you got to do is you, whatever you do, you just got to stick by it and have faith. You got to have faith and run with it. Even if one thing stop you and it's up to you, honestly, if you really going to stop. But thank y'all. <laughs> he's gonna play. He's gonna play for us, and we're gonna see if he's good enough to go to the Steve Harvey show. So just give it up. Y'all, I'm trying to figure out. I think, I think you passed that test. You just won't. See, it's little dudes like this. It's the reason why, man. It's... See, we don't teach with two things. We teach dreams, and we teach manhood. We don't teach nothing else. A lot of corporations walked away from us because we don't have an academic component. Because people in corporate America think it's their education. They count on it. You gotta have a degree in this and you gotta have a degree in that. 
But God told me a long time ago, it ain't your dream. It ain't your job. It ain't, it's not your education that matters. Nothing is more impactful in a young boy than his dream. Your dream spurs you to get the education. If you don't dream of flying no plane, you ain't gonna study math. You ain't gonna take the science course. You got to get into these cats' dreams, man. You got to, you got to, y'all see what I'm saying? So I ain't got no education. Ain't got no degrees. I got big dreams, though. So I dream hard. I dream big. I dream for cats like this. These little dudes, man, y'all don't know. They just need somebody to just ask them what they want to be and then show them how they can get it done.